Hello all, Igna here with another video for you today. Uh, today we will be going into raid math and loot math when invading other hills. Uh, before we go into that, uh, first a word from our sponsor. This video is a sponsored by Aptoids, uh, where with my code Agni5, the information will be on the screen right now. With my code, you can get anywhere from 5% to 40% off all in-game purchases that you make th through the game. It's a great way to be able to cut back on some of the, the spending and be able to save a little bit. So highly suggest using it. Uh, on a, a full video um, about how to take advantage of this will be down in the description below, as well as my Discord link. Everybody's welcome to come. I am doing giveaways um, in there and we'll soon be doing a $500 giveaway. So feel free to join. All right, so we'll get right into it. So there's a couple different things that you need to know before we can actually get into the actual math. The first thing being classes. Now Raider has the benefit of being able to get a troop load of plus 150% when invading. So what this means is essentially if your troop load is 10 million plus 150%, then you would come out to 25 million possible loot that you can take in a single hit. So, but that's also to keep in mind that that will change depending on what your actual troop load is. Now, the other thing to take into effect is that Cultivator, its capacity of being able to um, defend some of its resources depends on the queen level. But from what I can figure out, it's right around uh, 150 to 200% at queen 25 that you're able to protect even versus a raider. And then you have Herder, which is a 150%, I believe. Let me make sure on that. Um, yeah, oh, it's 100%. They have the ability of losing an extra 100% of any person's uh, troop load when being attacked. So when you have your farms and you have them set to herder or whatnot, um, that's how you can get the most amount of resources from uh, your farms in a single hit. Now with that out of the way, now we have the other factors to look at. So for each one of your queen levels and, and the target queen level, there's a difference of how much loot you can get from a hill. If the, the difference level is less than two, so say if you're hitting a hill 23 and you're hill to, uh, 25, you'll get 100% of your troop load um, or the possible loot from hitting that hill. Now, if there's a difference of three levels, you only get 80%, difference of four levels, you get 65%, difference of five levels, you get 50%, and difference of six levels, you get 30%. So it drops off very quickly there as far as um, how much loot you can actually get in a single hit. Now we'll go um, a lot more. So the, the next thing that you have to look at is your troop load. Now, obviously with um, shooters, you don't have as much of a troop load, but if I was to switch that over to carriers, as you can see right here, my troop load would go up to 11.9 million. Now that does not mean that each and every hit, that's what you are going to get as a result. Like I said, if you're hitting something that is a cultivator, you're gonna be deducted right around 150% from your total troop load. Depends how many of your troops survive etc etc per hit so that's always something you have to take into effect but for the the purpose of this video i'm going to try to simplify it down to where um let's take out the whole initial like the whole initial factor of the possibility of troop load um and we can factor that in later so say for instance that your target the person that you're hitting has is queen 25 your queen 25 um, and they have 500 million open resources so the way that the loot ratio works is it's always going to be um it's going to be three to three to 2.5 to one 
to 0 0.5, meaning it's uh, 3 percent or uh, 3 meat to uh, 3 plant to 2.5 wet soil to 1 uh, sand to 0 0.5 honeydew. Now keep in mind that only raiders can have the possibility of being able to loot honeydew. And it also um, usually doesn't happen until you've already ran out all of their other resources. So what do I mean by this? So example, say that the target has 500 million resources. Taken out, out of uh, effect the, say that we don't have a troop load. What that ratio would basically mean is that the loot off of 500 million, as long as you're their 25, you're 25, um, would be uh, 7.5 million meat, 7.5 million wet uh, plant, 6.5 or 6.25 million wet soil, 2.5 million of sand, and then uh, 1.25 million of honeydew following that ratio, which would be a total of a 25 million loot. Now, obviously, because your troop loads are not going to be like that, plus you have to take into effect the fact of carriers having um, the protection as well as her not having the protection, um, that differs. And I'll, I'll show some examples here in a little while. So, and then say if it's two levels uh, apart, you're going to be looking at 6 million plants, 6 million uh, meat, 5 million wet soil, 2 million uh, sand, and 1 million for a um, 12 million total loot. And that progresses down as you keep going. Like if, a, if it's at the 65%, which is a three le uh, four level difference, then you're only looking, um, or yeah, you're only looking at a 6.5 uh 16.5 million loot if it's at a 50 percent deficit you're looking at a 12.5 million total loot if it's six levels apart 30 percent you're looking at a 7.5 million total loot that you can get now this takes into effect also with their ability so when it when it's talking about this is basically per hit that you're able to get now the total amount of resources that you you are able to get per hit depends on the total amount that they also have open so that's always something to take into consideration as well um so when you are a cult uh, cultivator or herder you don't get that additional 150 percent invader bonus um so you also have to look at that so when you're a cultivator and herder the ratio actually changes so for a cultivator and herder, because they're not able to get honeydew, the ratio changes to a 3.5 to 3.5 to 2 to 1, meaning plant, meat, wet soil, sand. So taking that into effect, if the target has 500 million re open resources, you'd be getting 3.5 million uh, plant, 3.5 million meat, 2 million wet soil, and 1 million sand if you guys are both queen 25. And I, could, I could go through the rest for level difference, but at this point, most people are uh, pretty well up there or um, can kind of get the point from what I'm saying already, right, and I don't want to bore the hell out of people. So what does this mean? So I, I went in and I did a few um, examples. So right here, my farm, uh, I had opened up uh, 500 million resources on it. So. As you can see, I got a 1.5 million meat, 1.5 million uh, plant, uh, 1 million wet soil, and almost a million, three quarters of a million uh, sand. But now, if you go and look, I should have an 8.2 million total. Um, actually, I hit him with this one, so let me switch that out. I should have a 8.1 million total load. So where was the deficit and loss? Because if you if you add it up, if you add it up, uh, that's three million, four million, four point seven five million. I should have an eight point two, right? Where I lost it was the fact of it being that my farm is in cultivator and my main is not. So you you you, you take an increased loss of it. Plus it's also the ratio. 
So the ratio, you're always going to lose more plant and meat than you will wet soil or sand. Uh, so with that, I went ahead and I did a second hit to show you guys. And it's exactly the same because we're still close to that 500 million point cap. Now I went ahead and did my next hit with carriers, which increased it uh, to like 11 point something. And as you can see, what I can actually gain gets taken out. At, but it's also because of my increase in my troop load was able to counteract some of the factor of cultivator being able to um, withhold and protect the resources based on the clean level being 25. Um, so going forward with that, so what that basically tells you is, is A, it's always best to raid empty hills with carrier, but it's also something that you need to look at as far as their class. But you can use this ratio that I just provided to be able to um, go through at any given time and kind of factor out how many, how much of each resource you can get um, before you know they get forced teleported or whatever. Uh, if you want to take the time to do it. Anyway, I hope that this has been an informative and helpful video, and we'll see you in the next one. Agnes out.